Hey everyone, today I want to give you an overview of our current lettuce setup. We'll start with the reservoir. The reservoir contains nutrient solution, which is just water with nutrients mixed in. There's also air stones that add oxygen to the water, just like you would have in a fish tank. There's a pump inside the reservoir that pumps nutrient solution up through this tube and into the first rail. The nutrient solution then travels down the rail and then across back to the second rail and then back down out the outflow and back into the reservoir. Since the nutrient solution contains both nutrients and oxygen, the lettuce plants have everything that they need to grow without the need for dirt. For the plants themselves, we start out by planting a seed inside of one of these seed plugs. The seed plug is then put inside of one of these net cups and then the net cup is dropped into a hole in the rail. The way we have it set up, the water level inside the rail is just enough to reach the bottom of the net cup and to keep this seed plug moist so that the seed can germinate. As the seeds grow and the plant gets bigger, we move it down the rail which allows for a greater separation between plants. In the second rail, the holes are spaced fairly far apart so that it can accommodate a full-size plant. So as the plant grows, it moves down the rail from close together to farther apart. There's 28 total slots in this setup, so we can pick four heads of lettuce every week and that still allows the lettuce to have a full 49 day growing cycle. There's a couple things we really like about this setup that set it apart from the setups we've used in the past. The first one is that we can do seeding all the way to harvest all in the same setup. So we can plant our seeds, drop them in here, and then harvest them. We don't have to have a separate system to start the seeds and um, then move them over to this system. Um, it also utilizes space well since the smaller plants are spaced closer together and then they're spaced farther apart when they get bigger. You want to optimize the space that you have when you're using lighting so I think this setup does a really good job at that. It also looks nice so since we have it in our home we want it to um, have a really nice appearance and I think it does that with the square rails and then the, of course the green lettuce. It also has low algae growth so a problem we've had before is if any light gets through in between the plug and the net cup that causes algae to start growing down in, inside of the rail and then the roots start to turn green and then the lettuce grows a lot slower. But since we use these net cups that fit the plugs perfectly. No light gets through down into the rails and so we don't we don't have any problems with algae. Um, it can also be disassembled which is really helpful for cleaning or if you need to move it. So you can actually unscrew um, the junction between the two rails and then you could drain the water out and then move it to wherever you needed to or take it outside to clean it. Um, it also grows lettuce continually, which is really nice. There are setups you can buy that will grow a whole batch at once. So you could grow 10 heads, harvest them, and then you'd have to start over. But this one, you can harvest four heads every week, so you can have a continual supply of lettuce. And the lettuce that you do harvest is large, full heads. So since we can keep our lettuce in the system for... A full 49 days, it allows the heads to get really big and full. And lastly, it's really low maintenance. That's what we think is really important. So we only spend maybe an hour a week maintaining the setup with keeping the nutrients going or harvesting the lettuce and planting new seeds. So it's really easy to maintain. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful and if you want to learn how to build 
uh, system just like this on your own, you should check out our website at www.simplegreenshydroponics.com. It'll be linked in the description below.